Staff Sergeant Ammerman uh, from the Security Forces Detachment 3 Center, uh, working under the Security Forces Center at El Paso. Yes, this is my first time in the Philippines. It's been super awesome. We're getting to integrate with the Filipino Air Force a lot with the military working dog side and being able to just exchange back and forth uh, different information has been nice. Uh, everybody's super nice, friendly, and I love being out here. The Philippine allies, I think the biggest takeaway is how much I am able to just to incorporate like our training with their training and them teaching more inducive ways of dog training and just having fun and showing us how they upbring a dog compared to how we do it at Lackland. So today we were demonstrating our uh, scouts. So scouts is if a suspect were to take off running into any kind of wooded area or anywhere that's rural, then we can have a dog go in and have a search pattern and go and find a suspect, whether it be with a sight or a sound or scent. So even if they're not making any noise or you can't see them, the dog can still smell the person, make sure that they can still find them if we need to so that we can go in and apprehend suspects. So while we've been here, we've demonstrated um, our patrol work, our obedience work, and then we've also demonstrated a lot of um, detection work as well to see how different our detection is from their detection and just sharing information to see if we can help each other more and make each other better. So the dog teams are capable of patrol work, obedience tasks. They're also trained with detection for either narcotics or explosives. So uh, one of my highlights of the Philippine allies that I've loved being here is just the just sharing of information and then also the friendships that I've built since being here and learning a lot more from them and just like their culture and how they like interact with each other it's it's been really nice and that's my highlight is just the camaraderie that we all have um, I would say the search and rescue is one of the biggest things that I'll be able to take away from this is because I did not train prior to this a lot of search and rescue so it's been really nice learning their search and rescue tactics um, I know other counterparts in the military of DOD we do search and rescue but us as Air Force we don't see it very often so it's been really nice to watch like how their search and rescue is very similar and um, but also the differences compared to our scouts so that's why today we were able to exchange a lot more information and I enjoyed learning from them that aspect. I think it's overall um, enhancing because we have some younger handlers that are here with us with their dogs and then it's just teaching them a, a lot about just how to improve their handling skills and even us um, so like me, I've learned a lot just from taking away from them that I'll be able to take back to our training center out at Fort Bliss so that we can, I can actually help train more people that are going downrange a little bit better. I think this is like a really great opportunity to have both um, of our Air Forces come together and then be able to just train with each other and this canine's always a, an evolving door. So anytime that you get a chance to even get to talk to somebody else that is handler or canine trainer. It's been super nice because of the fact that you learn something new every day. There's never gonna be a time where you are gonna know everything in the Air Force um, military working dog program or even DOD wide. It's a plethora of information and I think with us being able to be out here um, and just sharing information, we learn something almost every day. So it's it's been pretty nice and I think this is definitely going to be one thing that will be good to keep up in the future because then we'll be able to come back and start having competitions and be able to have them come over to Guam and just the Philippine Air Force as a whole just getting better so that it enhances their capabilities too. Yes, I hope that I'll be able to come back and be able to work with them or even if they come out to Guam, being able to work with them out there. Um, it is a little bit of a ways for traveling across the waters, but I think this experience, it's gonna be one for a lifetime. Yeah, so a couple of the uh, female handlers, we have actually 
um, gone out to dinner and then also the other day we got to play basketball with them so it was just them showing us their fun pastime things and then we go and do it as well so that we can just build that relationship to make it stronger um, a couple of them have added me on Facebook so we've just built a lot better bonds by hanging outside of work instead of just being strictly work which has been really nice